A, B, C. Nope, I'm not doing this. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Search Cloud. We're currently in the Water Temple. Last time we went through the Water Temple, and this time we're going to be playing in the Water Temple. Oh gosh, it's the end time sequence. Do, 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 do. Come at me, bros! How can you just take that thing? Don't do it, Rock. Don't do it. 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 Alrighty. So. <clears throat> about some Zelda for once. Hyrule Warriors. I'm actually very intrigued by that game. If you actually watch the trailer, you can see that a lot of the resources and inspiration was off of Ocarina of Time. Not much has been shown since the original trailer at all. I'm very excited to see how that goes. I believe it's supposed to come out this year, and we'll probably get more on E3, but... Quite honestly, I'm amazed. Um, if you look at it, it does have a different combat system. Yeah, so it's supposed to be more of a Dynasty Warriors game, but it still uses Zelda elements, like they're using bombs and... Fire, the fire staff from like things in the past and I don't know it looked like it was going to be a very interesting game can't wait to see how that turns out we don't really have much to go off of though that's the whole problem whoop Burr. Yeah. At the time of recording, it's about March 27th. Yeah, it is March 27th, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's about this day, guys. Okay, yeah. Um. Owie! We're at that time where. Pretty much. We're in a desert of information. If. We're not going to probably get any information until about April or May for any game on any systems, to be honest. Ugh. It is gross, especially with the Wii U, and all we know from Nintendo coming out anytime soon is Mario Kart 8 and the new Kirby game, but... Beyond that, we don't have any of anything, and this will be the second game on each system this year, and it's very gross. There should be more games coming out. Nintendo, last year you shot us so many great games. Why didn't you think more carefully? Actually, ugh. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. It gives me a lot of time to play older games, though, and work on Shin Megami Tensei 4, but I don't think that game is so brutal. I want to replay Phantom Hourglass soon, right? Just replayed Wind Waker when that came out last year. Um, but I want to play Phantom Hourglass. I haven't played through it in a while, and I did enjoy Phantom Hourglass, actually, for the most part. Hard silence controls are a little bleh, but I don't know. Phantom Hourglass had a great story that was very intriguing. It did have a lot of notable dungeons. It was actually very creative in boss fights. Gotta say, it was very fun. Fairy Tracks also have issues with Forever. All one day do a complete rant about that game. One day. 
We have a lot to talk about with why I hate spirit tracks. Hmm. Okay, Ooh la la. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but from Phantom Hourglass, when you go into the Temple of the Oceans, when you have a essentially a timer, like countdown times of how much time you can be outside of what are known as save zones, and you can add stuff to your timer just by doing certain things. So, like, we'll pick up sand, but. Quite frankly, I used to play that game so much I was able to get to the bottom of the temple without losing any time whatsoever. I actually managed to get all the golden boat parts, I got all the hearts, I did everything in that game I humanly could have. I enjoyed it a lot. And then I was pretty good at the multiplayer thing. I did not have any loot. Losses on my heart for like four hundred games, but I don't know. I'll miss it. I miss my game. So this boss can be somewhat of a troll. It does not like to sit still. It has a tension deficit. If you can get it stuck in a corner. It is actually possible to beat this one, but I think I've done it once. Yeah, do not get near the 10 minutes. If you see any head you know we're good. Go. It was actually very close. If I did not kill it right there, that was about to hurt me very badly again. And 
that was the infamous water temple, ladies and gentlemen. What can we say? So, next stop will be the Shadow Temple, but before we can really go to Shadow Temple as a whole, we have a few things to deal with. We have to bottom of the well, and then I also want to complete the trade sequence. Get the unbreakable big If you have that, it makes one thing in Shadow Temple just hilarious. Okay, let's go ahead and just equip the Megaton Hammer again, and we are out of here. Finish the Water Temple. See, guys, it wasn't that bad. It's just a little time consuming. You don't have to get stuck. That's a lie. They're gonna remain frozen over forever. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I wanted want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you, you're searching for the princess Zelda. Ha, huh, you can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Alright, three down. Two more to go. Huh. I want to check this game is actually over. That's weird. I only have like two or three more... Uh, yeah, I only have one or two more recording sessions. Wow. Oh, that's actually weird. Especially considering right now I have enough crap to last me well into April. Actually, this is probably going to go up in April. Holy crap. I'm in the future, but... I'm not. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it. Did Ruto want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that link. Together you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil monster. Once again the lake is filled with pure water, all is as it was here. I like how Sheik is just very tan and then Link is like albino. Well, he did spend seven years trapped in a temple. Can't blame him for not being tan or whatever. Yeah. Well, we're here. Let's go ahead and take care of something then, shall we? Early morning. It's early morning, the sun comes out. Last night was shaking and pretty loud. No, we're not going to continue doing that. You can actually get the fire arrow without baiting the water temple, but... It's a fun series of glitches I'll never figure out. Well... That's one way of doing it. You can also use the bomb shoot glitch, that one's fun. You got the fire arrow. Holy crap, we actually have a use for our magic meter besides Din's fire. Ugh. We could go fishing right now if we want to, but I don't want to. I hate fishing with a passion. It's brutal. Um, 
Well, would be a faster way to Kakariko. I believe the fastest way to Kakariko would just be go to the Temple of Time and... <coughs> there is actually a lot of arguments here over which order should these two dungeons be done. Most people will do Shadow Temple and Spirit Temple. Some do Spirit Temple and then Shadow Temple. Quite honestly, I believe that the reason you're supposed to use Shadow Temple before is because you have to go off and explore a whole new complete area and meet all new people or spirit, whereas... <coughs> just for Shadow Temple, you just have to go someplace you know, and you have to... Go ahead and get the Lens of Truth from the bottom of the well anyway to even get to the Spirit Temple, so... Considering you practically need stuff from the Shadow Temple section of the game... I'm assuming you have to do Shadow Temple first. You can argue with me all you want. That's just how we're doing it here, people. This is ominous. You know you really have to feel bad for that family. They had the worst luck ever. You get turned into Skulltulas. You can beat them up as Skulltulas. Their house is set on fire. They really have bad luck, don't they? Bongo Bongo. It's actually very, very weird. It's like it's very shapeless right now. It's like you won't be able to see this until we actually fight it. But right now it's very ominous, and then when you fight it, it's a hanging upside down, just decapitated person. Most legit strategy ever. <laughs> ah, boy. Looks like this is coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the shadow temple to seal it again. But she will be in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the shadow temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the shadow temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. Alright, 
So next time, we'll go ahead and take care of the trading quest and go to the bottom of the well and learn more about where that creature was kept in. And yeah. How many things I have up pretty far? Okay, we can take care of that too. Alright.